Yo, yo, what's going on? It's the morning of the game. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. This is not my most... This ain't the game for me. Um, it's supposed to be the biggest game of the season for us. Um, because of the rivalry. But I'm going to I'm gonna make an admission. I don't enjoy this game. I don't enjoy this game. And I don't enjoy this game because of how Man United of recent, how they play. Yeah. Um, oh, also, let me let me address my shirt today. So I'm wearing my Brazilian shirt because I need Firmino to turn up like he did in the last Old Trafford match when we beat them 4-2. We need more of that today because I can see more of the same for Man United. This game at Old Trafford, everybody is gassed. Yeah, everyone's gassed because they think we're going to run up there and we're going to smoke this team, which is what we should do. Yeah, if you look at the form and you look at the the way both teams play, we should every time we go there, we should smoke them, right? That's the problem what I've got with this game because for the last I'd say six or seven years, every time we go to Old Trafford, we should pepper this team, and that's not always the case when we come away, right? Our head to head record at Old Trafford, it's it's abysmal really. It's abysmal. <laughs> And it's random reasons why we lose these games. Like I remember the game where um, who, someone got fouled and Rashford ran on and scored, and the goal was allowed. And Man United then went on to win that game two one. Um, Oli under Oli, he parks the bus at his on his own pitch, and waits for us to make a mistake, and then they run up the other end and score. And this is the normal pattern. <laughs> this is why I say I don't. This ain't the match for me. You know the big the big game for me every season now is Man City versus us slugfest. Two teams going at it, two heavyweights, two champions going at each other to see, I'm better than you. No, no, I'm better than you. All right, let's see. Man City v Liverpool is the big match for me every season. Yeah, it's it's, it's superseded now, the Man United beef. The Man United beef for me is in a different place because they've got 20 league titles, we've got 19. And historically, that's been the battle and we need to really win that. But in terms of derbies, it's not the game. It's I don't feel it anymore. Not like when Ferguson was there. When Ferguson was there, I wanted to beat this team. Now when I want to beat them, it's more like I just we just need to beat them so we get closer to getting this twentieth title. Not like it's going to be a brilliant match. It never is. It's hor it's horrible match. It just it just doesn't have it. Even Arsenal v Tottenham has better gameplay and drama and excitement than this one. This one is normally dead. Um, saying that, I don't care how we win today. I just want us to win. My problem is I don't know what Man United is going to turn up and I don't know what Liverpool is going to turn up. This match is unpredictable. Us at the moment, we, we're conceding goals and our run is a bit deceptive. We've had a, quite a few clean sheets at the early part of the season, but realistically, we've given up chances to every team that we've played who sh and all of them should have scored. So, I'm not sure about us at the back. And up front, when Man United want to, they stick five at the back. You've got Fred and McTominay sitting on the front as well. So, that's like seven players literally sitting in and around the, the front of the goal. Almost like it's a, it's a low block. It's a low block again, right? Shaw is half decent. And I think he will have he could have a half decent game against Salah. The key is going to be our midfield penetrating that little wall that they've got. And the problem we've got is if they get any stray chances, Ronaldo will score. There's no doubt about it. This guy will score. He's com he his confidence will be that he will he can score past Van Dijk and Matip and Allison. He he does not feel he will miss. So you don't want him there. Mason Greenford is showing nobody any respect. He could score. Bruno Fernandes, if they get any set pieces, and just as a playmaker, he could set up a chance and score. There's no doubt about that. And Rashford is feeling himself right now. His confidence is up and he will feel that he can get at Trent on the right. He could score. So this ain't no simple game how people are making out um, and people in the media are getting carried away like Liverpool's going to go out there and spin this team. By all means, we can but we might not. Henderson 
is not going to dominate the midfield, right? Fabinho now, if he's playing, he can do that. But then he's got to make sure he's got the out ball, which is going to Henderson, um, and whether it's Naby. Milner, we can't keep relying on Milner. Milner's getting on now. We've got to replace Milner. And he gets caught out with pace. Milner's got the brain and he's tough. But Man United got a pay they're a pacey team. He could get caught out. Let's be real. We've got to keep it real. He could get caught out in this game. So then you've got to look. Curtis Jones, is he tough enough to deal with this challenge? Don't know. Naby Keita, is he tough enough to deal with this challenge? I don't know. So realistically, it probably will be Milner. Now, what we could do is Milner and Fab could hold hold the position and say, listen, we're not going to go forward. We're not going to go. We'll neutralise Bruno. You come to us. We'll neutralise Bruno, McTominay and Fred. And we'll just put an out ball to Mo and let Mane and, Fit and Bobby link the play and score the goals. That's how I would like us to play. I don't want us to go for them. I want us to actually be patient and let them come and we we counterattack them. That's what I would love Klopp to do. I'd love Klopp to just reverse the tactics and be a bit different and say, yo, these low block teams love to wait for us to make the mistake and then they come in. Why don't we sit back? Let's see what they do first. Let them let's, let let them blink first. Let's see what they're going to do. And then we control the game. Once we control the game, then we start going for them. Because we know Mo doesn't care who's playing. He's going he's gonna to think he can score. And the key now will be Bobby and Mane coming across to support Mo. And linking up that play and drawing the, drawing the defenders, drawing the players out of position. And then we get the goals. That, to me, is the right way we need to play this match. But knowing us, we're going to go for them. And we'll go high energy. And that plays into Ole's hands. That's why I'm a little bit worried about this match. A little bit worried about this match. Um, Chelsea are four points clear at the moment. We can't really afford to not win it. We need we need to win this game. <laughs> but I don't know what way it's going to go. I'm hoping we win. I haven't got a score predictor for this one. Um, because look, look at the head-to-head -head record. I mean, this, this is what I'm talking about. All right? So last season... After losing the FA Cup match a few months earlier um, on their ground, we lost 3-2 in the Cup. Premier League, we beat them 4-2. Yeah, that was a great day. It was great, right? But I didn't see that coming. Before that, we had a 1-1 at Old Trafford. <coughs> Excuse me. The match before that at Old Trafford in the Premier League was a 0-0. The match before that, 2018, Man United 2-1. That's with the um, incident I told you about with Rashford. The match before that, 2017, 1-1. The match before that, 1-1. Let me keep going. The match before that, we lost 3-1. Oh, that's with Martial. I remember that one. We lost, we lost 3 2015, Van Gaal. We lost 3-1. The match before that, we lost 3-0. Then the season before that, when we had Suarez, we won that 3-0. That was cool. But then the match before that, Carling Cup, we lost 1-0. The match before that, 2013, we lost 2-1. The game before that, 2012, we lost 2-1. Our record is not great there. And I can tell you for free, half of these games that we went there, we were favourites. We should have won the game. Man United's form was horrible or we were better than them. Like, we were playing better football. But this ground, we go there. Look at that. 2010, oh, sorry, 2011 FA Cup, we lost 1-0. 2010, 3-2, which is a Berbatov hat-trick. I remember that. 2010 again, March, 2-1. The last time where we had a brilliant, where we smoked them. So the only times we've smoked them, 2009 with Torres, my favourite. <laughs> So we smoked them in 2009. We smoked them again. 2014. And then we smoked them in 2021. 20, That's three wins in what? 11 years. Not an easy ground to go to. Right? 
So this is what I'm saying to you. Just like they can't come to Anfield, they can't rock up to Anfield and win. The last time they beat us there, 2015. Yeah? They can't come up to our place. It's the same. So, <clears throat> I don't know. Let's hope Bobby turns up. Let's hope Salah is on fire and he puts sure on his back. Um, I don't know. That's why maybe I'm, maybe this post is a bit flat. But it's flat because this game doesn't fill me with excitement when it comes on. It just leaves me with, like, I'm anxious because Man I hate Man United with a passion. This is the team I probably hate the most. And then I never know if we're going to beat them because they're so unpredictable. So I'm hoping today, Liverpool victory. And that's it, I'm, that word is I'm, I'm, I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm hoping we beat them. Um, I would have been more confident if they lost that game to Atalanta. But they've got a knack of coming back in the maddest circumstances. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. It's come 6.30. I've got another video where I'm literally ripping the hell out of this, this Man United team. And Ole is on the brink of getting sacked. He won't get sacked. We'd have to beat him 6-0 or something for them to make a drastic change. Ole won't get sacked after this game. So the people calling for that, it's not going to happen. Right, but we can put the pressure on. We can seriously put the pressure on. For Ole, it's not about. It's not even really about if he beats us. It's the way that he beats us, or not beat us, I should say. If they lose, it's the way. It's, it's the performance people are looking at. It's not. Ole can get a result today. That's not going to tell the story. The story is: Can Man United start playing with a brand of football that the fans like? And then look like they're going to pick up titles. I don't think under Ole they will. But let's see. We don't know. Anyway. I'm out. Come on Bobby. Yeah. We need that Brazilian magic today. Let's see what happens. I'll see you lot after the game. Alright. Peace.